all right you guys so uh you can see we had this path coming right in here and another path coming out right through here then there's a little path going underneath that fence and this right here i put a trap right here on this uh peak right here and there's just trails going every which way around it so i threw a trap right there setting on sign and uh, i had it toggled off to a branch and you'll notice the branch isn't there you look right there i see our dog proof it looks like we got a coon on the other end of it yeah he's hiding his head from us he's not got much of his foot in there so i'm gonna go ahead and get him dispatched and uh i'll show you guys the set all right guys here lies the coon this is a very 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 nice coon for indiana look how black this thing is he's only got white on him or like discoloration like on his tail and kind of on his legs and stomach but like the back of this thing is so dark like that's a very pretty coon you can see how like prime these late season coons are it's just like look how thick that fur is so that's gonna be a really nice coon and what he did was he took that toggle from right there and drag it right over here and kind of got himself down to that hole but uh I kind of did this to this dog proof just to be stupid, but I'm glad I did. I actually put a shock spring on it. And what that does is whenever the coon, or they're supposed to be for like steel traps, like for coyotes. But the purpose of them is, is whenever they go to pull on that trap, this is gonna be like anchored down. They'll pull and it just compresses that spring so they're not putting all that pressure on their foot. And the reason I'm glad I did that to that one is because this guy let's see that's okay right there you can see yeah right there you see we got a toe catch so i had this coon by hardly anything and uh you know i'd say if i didn't have that he'd probably get out of it but uh we can do a quick remake here's the trap line gun it's old uh rossi 22 we put a pistol grip on it i put that in the bottom of it and stuff it's usually got the little no grip thing up there but i took that off i cleaned it up and stuff i gotta put it back on that is the finished set so dog proofs are a very quick and efficient way of trapping i like those those and blind sets are probably my favorites uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get him loaded up and we got a few more traps to catch and i'll let you guys know if we catch anything else so here we go all right guys this is something that i never see at all um in the last video if you want guys go check that out i made a video of me putting out blind sets and this is the one you can see i just put right here on this uh next to this fence post and <laughs> i this isn't really what we were hoping for but we caught us a squirrel so this is a first for me i've never caught a squirrel in a uh steel trap well i have before but a coyotes or bobcat or something came to it and ate it before i could get to it the reason is i looked like or looks like that if you're wondering is i had to shoot him he was actually a lot of weird things happened at this he was still alive in the trap nothing had ate him and he didn't have like a heart attack or anything but uh yeah you can see i caught him right there it's got his whole foot in the pan all right, there's the uh, finished set for you guys. That took maybe a minute to reset. So yeah, that's why I like these blind sets and dog proofs. They take literally like no time to reset. So yeah, we're gonna get a move on and hopefully we'll have something else in the traps. So yeah, let's go. What do you think of them, Hog? I'm actually gonna weigh this thing real quick. So uh, go ahead and be guessing what you think he'll weigh i'm gonna guess 22 pounds so let's see 17.4 but still that's a pretty big coon i've caught coyotes just a tad bit bigger than this before so all right guys here's the uh skin coon see i got both the eyes on him perfect both the ears nose whatever tails whole deal but uh you can see these things are fat this year they're definitely eating good <laughs> 